Hi, welcome to the preview of the Golden Age Captain America Omnibus Volume 2. I haven't read it yet, read through some of it, but I haven't read through it all the way through, so I can't really do a review. But however, I wanted to do a quick preview, and you can see all the various people there. Volume 2. Hopefully there will be a Volume 3, Volume 4, etc. Who knows? I suppose if it sells well, there will be. I think all these have been reprinted over the years in like Marvel Masterworks, etc. Various other volumes as well. So uh, maybe obviously the volume three might be a bit more tricky because material, is it available, readily available? However, what's it got in it? You can see the covers there. And it's Captain America Comics, issue number 13, all the way through to 24. I absolutely loved volume one, but that was, of course, Kirby, etc. The artists are slightly different in this, and you can see Al Averson. That's how you say his name, Averson, and Sid Shaw's as well, and Don Rico. Seems so Stan Lee did quite a bit of the writing. However, let's just go through. And I'm just going to take this off because I always find it tricky to go through these with the cover on. So just move that. And there's the actual there. And you've got the back there. Timely comics, comics as it says there. Beautiful gold there. And then in straight away, this is... Uh, absolutely glorious and of course you've got the contents which is always good and i always love the fact they have to put this previously published content includes negative fictions mistreatment of people cultures etc they always have to put that to be obviously be careful and then you've got all the contents there and you've got all the various people and it's great uh sid shaw's Al alverson again and well a variety of different inkers it's got a long list of Thing, and different stories as well. So it's not just Captain America. So you've got Captain America, you've got Dippy Diplomat, whoever, Dizzy Doodles, whoever that is, Catch the Firebug, you've got Secret Stamp, you've got uh, Secret Stamp again, I'm just going through quickly here. And I think also Submariners in this and uh, also Human Torch. Now you've got some of these, uh, this one actually is a fairly recent, which is quite nice. This one's uh, 2021, which is great. Love the introduction. The introduction is always good. Sadly, quite a lot of the introductions are often from the Marvel Masterworks series. Obviously, this one, I assume, is not. So it's... Uh, but here's another one that's uh, another introduction as well. And this one, of course, is 2010. So I assume from the Marvel Masterworks. You've got the covers as well, of course. Brilliant covers there. You started it. Now we are finish it. Number 13 there. 10 cents. All out for America issue. And you've got the story straight. Some very, very... Now... Yes, the depictions are pretty crude and, well, however, there is a rawness I always find with these things that I thoroughly enjoy. The actual depictions, I think, well, you could, well, you definitely can argue that it was of its time. You definitely, this is a historical document, not to be sort of seen as a, this one's weird as well, politics, politics. <laughs> I wonder if that was <laughs> politics or no idea. Very strange story. And they did quite a lot of these ones. Weird. I don't know why they were always very... The animal characters were very, very popular. And I'm surprised they haven't brought out an omnibus volume with a number of those stories yet. But so far, I haven't seen one of those. You've got Captain America and Bucky there. I love the Bucky sort of just very small there. The Lighthouse of Horror. Great stories as well. You've obviously got the usual sort of things, lots of smugglers. And of course, to make certain that you know who they are, you can see the swastika on the top there, on his hat, just to make certain. No sort of what's in them. Let's not hide it. We've got a swastika on the hat, just to make certain. And of course, Captain America sold today as usual. Bot bash. You, you two are the last of Mohicans. I'm not certain that why that reference was put in there, but uh, still, great. And then you, of course, got all these stories as well. You've got here the Wild West. And these ones, I don't know who it's by, but they often put it because of various postal reasons. I'm not certain why. Since being obviously from England, I'm certain that wasn't an issue here, maybe. Who knows? I doubt if any of these ever actually got to the UK, other than maybe via uh, various ships and whatever, maybe one or two copies, but uh, certainly probably not that many. The Imp, the Headline Hunter. So you've got the Headline Hunter there as well. The secret stamp for defence by United States savings bonds and stamps. Story there. You've got actually quite a few there. The secret stamp, the secret stamp, the secret stamp. Quite a few secret stamps there. Don't delay. Another second. 
become a member of Captain America's Sentinels of Liberty. Very unusual drawing of Captain America there, but still a personal signature as well, no less. I expect many a copy was ruined with this sort of ripped out. Or didn't, of course, probably have photostats, of course. Couldn't make a photocopy of it very easily, could you? Captain America. Brilliant. I love these. I, I always love these sort of covers. I don't know why, but the one where they got the bar down the side always seems somehow odd. 40, page, 40 action pages of Captain America. And you've got Captain America. The way they did the writing as well. Captain, and then America, all the way down the side. How odd. But great, great. I mean, I love the size as well, because, of course, clearly massively oversized there. And you got here. and But also you've got the black and white there, just all the contents, which is always sort of... And I always love volume two. I always enjoy that bit. Volume two. Volume one, well, who knows? Great little stories here. And you've got here some brain teasers as well. Yeah, pretty good. So you can, of course... Wreck your omnibus edition by just using, sort of drawing only three straight lines from border to border. Back again, you've got the Young Allies as well. Great little adverts there as well. Number three, you've also got Petals of Doom. Very similar story. Actually, this has got, uh, what's the character? I think the character, they've got the Yellow Claw in here as well. Now, it's not the Yellow Claw, but the Yellow Claw turns up in the thing. You've got, obviously, Yellow Claw there, so you can be sure that it's the Yellow Claw. So long, Yellow Claw. Obviously, it was a popular name for a cat. And you got Elmer there. Another story of one of these. They have quite a few of these sort of things, like Secret Stamp again, Secret Stamp. Oh, important announcements. I always dreaded the important announcements, certainly in the UK comics, because it always meant, of course, we were joining with another... Your favourite comic was joining with another comic that you probably never read. And you said, oh... However, obviously, that was slightly different over in America. You've got Captain America. New, different, exciting. Stan Lee, editor there. Number 15. So you got that. I just think the, the thing is, the, oh, the restoration of this is just absolutely first rate. Just beautiful. I mean, it really is. I mean, obviously, the stories are very crude. And that is the thing you should definitely got to realise. You've got here, oh, get fifth columnist. I love that. Fake rumour spreaders. Bit, obviously, they were into the fake news. And you got Don't Delay, Another Second. You've got Sentinels again, the Imp again. And some of the, this one. You don't dare tackle me, I'm too powerful. We Martians. And quite often, these sort of things, you know that that's not going to be the case. That we, that's the one limitation of a lot of these comics of this period. They were really very much, it turned out to be smugglers, or it was a gang, or it was the Nazis, or it was the Japanese, etc. So it was quite a lot. Just again, the secret stamp. Again, you've got Bucky's column there. And I love you always got the code as well. You've got the various codes there they put there into the club room. And then you've got Red Skull turns up again. Red Skull's cry of alarm. You've got there. Red Skull looking very odd, actually, the Red Skull there. And again, doing some very dubious thing that that poor woman is just... Uh, I'm not certain what that guy was just standing there for. So you've got the Red Skull, and again, you've got another one of these weird creatures there that probably turn out to be Nazis. You will never harm my people. The Imp again turns up. And you got, obviously... Oh, now that's surreal. you got the Red Skull there. Stronger than I, have, I thought... Etc. Terra, Terra, and they had these lovely ones. Oh, so we're now into another article, and this one is from 2011. And then you've got another powerful cover. Bang! Here lies Bucky buried alive. Actually, with a nice smiling face as well. Quite cheerful as he sees that creature being bopped. I'm the guilty one. Brain of Killer Coal for the gorilla's brain. <coughs> Well, what's this one? Um, oh, another story. Some very odd character. And this one here, you've got some real... But it's really full of raw energy all the way through. It's relentless. There's one thing you can say about these old comics. Fighting the Ang. Oh, Fighting the Ang. A slightly different story than before. Though, got his arms a bit long. Really quite extended arms there. Captain America, Secret, The Secret. Oh, now into the... I love the advert there. Crazy comics, don't miss Terry Toons. And again, you've got another, obviously, 
they always had these sort of jokey sequences. Poor old Steve Rogers was always doing various things. And you've got someone got obviously getting hit there on the head. Strange accident occurs. Good Lord, he's... Wow. Now that's way cooler. That's... You wouldn't get these sort of things. That's the thing I love about these. I mean, it's just... There is an energy, a sort of rawness that you just would never, ever see anything like that. Maybe, perhaps, probably for the best. But wow. Really, and she's stuck there. Obviously, it's going to be uh, slightly a uh, bit of a problem there. And the human torch. Human torch gets in here as well. And again, some obviously very intense sort of... Uh, and obviously, poor old Toro has uh, got a bit of the vine of evil beauty. Another one of these little articles. Stories. Hey, Yahoo! You obviously got uh, Steve there. Again. Some very strange bits in this. Oh, Dippy Diplomat. Now, that really looks very odd. Guy Blythe. Very strange. That is very odd artwork. Quite surreal artwork, actually. Very strange. The clammy things. The case of the clam. They often did quite a lot of these sort of things. The case of. And sometimes they even put like case numbers as well. Back in the early days, it was like case numbers. Note to reader. If you're afraid of action and heart-stopping horror, we advise you not to read the following tale. Well, I've just spent me 10 cents on it. I'm going to read it. Or just throw it away then. Why bother? Of course I'd read it. And you got this one here, the creeper by the presence himself. And it's just, wow. Again, human torch again, the copper strikes or cobra. And also you've got some lovely adverts there. America's funniest three, apparently. Crazy comics, Terry Toons and comedy comics. Excellent stuff. Again, I would love to see an omnibus edition of these or maybe some sort of epic collection book. That would be brilliant. The artwork actually does change quite dramatically at times. You've got some that's really quite... Yeah, you know, I can't really place it sometimes. The inking is very strange. And this one, 50... Oh, well, I'm getting another brilliant cover there as well. I mean, the colours, everything just bounces off the page. It's just absolutely superb. And again, Human Torch. Oh, I'm sleepy, he says there. Yeah, probably not a good idea to be on the train as the driver and being a bit sleepy there. Captain America versus the Cobra Ring of Death. No less. Mm -hmm. However, Statement of Ownership. Oh, it's 1942, this one. You've got all the varsity. Oh, Martin Goodman. Game poor old Martin Goodman. Always uh, sadly. However, another brilliant. Oh, look at that. Just superb cover again. And you go all the way through there. And you, actually, I was thinking Red Skull turns up a few more times than that, but he doesn't. It's not that many stories with the Red Skull. Uh, this one, Captain America. Oh, look. It was varying the sort of banner as well. Captain America. That's really weird. Captain America written with Captain and America like that. You've got Bucky there. Obviously in a bit of a perilous state, I would say, at that point. Woman, well, aren't they all ready for the test? I probably don't think so. And then we're on to the next story. The Black Dragon Society. And this is just... Hmm, that doesn't look very good. And again, good heavens. Some great... Just the artwork is just absolutely brilliant. No one would buy it now, I'm quite certain. Obviously, I'm, other than for historical reasons looking at this book. But, you know, if you saw a magazine that was like this, you'd go... Hmm. And again, Human Torch. You've got the Mac Monument... Murder, no less. And then more Captain America. Yahoo. It was always Yahoo. Very strange. Was that a popular expression? Yahoo. And then all the way through. Again, this is very odd. That artwork is very strange. The Dippy, Dippy Diplomat. Very odd. Very odd artwork. Unfortunately, it doesn't have much bonus material. We're talking very limited bonus material. <laughs> Literally two pages. One page, actually. So you've got just a little bit here. True Golden Age Rarity. And it's got, obviously, the uh, Canadian version. And also uh, a house ad. And also Kid Comics. Now, it's a pity there's not a little bit more than that. But what a brilliant thing. Now, I expect lots of people to turn around and say, what sort of... There. So you can just see it. You can see the spine. You can see the binding. Yeah. Ooh. Get it right. So you can see it there. 
Well, I must admit, I loved it. Um, obviously, I haven't read it yet all the way through, but I've gone through reading some of the stories and yeah, they're good. I think they're just enjoyable, but they are definitely, definitely of their time. If you're coming to it, sort of, they are quite crude, quite vicious, quite odd. And, and also, obviously, depictions are pretty intense. So uh, definitely be aware of that if you're going to get this book. Uh, also, there was a weird imperfection there. Look, there, I actually had to snip away the pages. There were about four pages stuck together. Most annoying that. But anyway, that does happen in books. And uh, it's, uh, what can you do? So Golden Age Captain America Omnibus Volume 2. Well, thoroughly enjoyable.